Hey, this is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown on Lifter LMS PDFs and everything it has to offer for your online course or membership website. So if you don't already have Lifter LMS and the Lifter LMS PDFs plugin uh, installed and activated on your website, you'll want to make sure you head to Lifter LMS, add-ons and more. And whenever you purchase a product from Lifter LMS, you'll get a license key uh, from the Lifter LMS website. That license key will be put right here in this My License Keys area. Under Lifter LMS add-ons and more, My License Keys. Make sure you add in your license key for Lifter LMS PDFs, and then you'll be able to install it right from this screen here. There will be a button that says Install Now. Or you could just download the zip file and upload it to your plugins area. But either way, once you have the Lifter LMS PDFs and Lifter LMS Core plugin installed, uh, we can start the tutorial. So under Lifter LMS Settings, integrations we have lifter lms pdfs as an option here you'll want to make sure that's enabled if not click on this lifter lms pdfs word there it'll take us to another screen where we can uh, modify the settings of the lifter lms pdfs integration so let's do a quick rundown on all the settings that this integration adds so it allows students to download pdf exports of certificates grades and progress reports and also orders so up here we have some general settings for our PDFs. If you wanted to have a title on your PDFs you can have that here. Modify the paper size, have descriptions. These are just some general settings but I'm going to leave them as the defaults and then we can select the export types. This is if you want to allow students to download PDFs or certificates as PDFs you'll want to make sure that box is checked. I'm going to go ahead and check all these boxes but if for some reason you don't want students to download orders and transactions as PDFs just uncheck the box and you're good to go. And then at the bottom we have a few settings for advanced users specific to CDNs. Uh, if you're using a CDN for your website you'll want to take a look at uh, serving the images and PDFs in your downloads um, in a way that works with your CDN. But the main settings in this product are going to be these check boxes for certificates, grades, and orders. So let's take a look at what exporting an order looks like. So now that Lifter LMS is installed, activated, and enabled, I can go ahead over to orders here, and as an admin, if I click on any of these orders, I have this download button over here on the right side of my screen. If I click download, it will download a copy of this order for me with the data from that order. Students can also download the PDFs on their student dashboard. So if I were to copy this email address, I'm going to use a plugin called user switching to switch to the uh, margarita user here and we're gonna see what they see so if I had to users search up that email switch to this user head to the front end of the website and visit my student dashboard as a student when I view my order history I'll be able to download that same order PDF so if a student wanted a PDF receipt, they can go ahead view their order and download that and be good to go. Let me go ahead and switch back to the admin user and we'll take a look at what it looks like to export grades. So the other setting is grades and progress reports. So if I were to head to my student dashboard over here and then we have grades, my grades, I can see any of my courses if I click into them all the way at the bottom I have this download feature which is going to download sort of a report card of my progress throughout this course my completion date whether I passed the quiz what my grade was on the quiz and a bunch of other data pertaining to the course so it's sort of a report card style setup for the specific course then the last thing we can download with the Lifter LMS PDFs integration is going to be certificates this is a popular feature request that we've seen in the community. If we head to Engagements, Awarded Certificates, I only have a few of them here, but let's go ahead and view one of them. There's now the Save button on here. It usually would save as an HTML file if you're using Lifter LMS out of the box, but if you're using the Lifter LMS PDFs integration, the Save button will download as a PDF. So if I click Save there, we have my certification.pdf here, and I can download that email it to whoever I need to, um, or just save it to my computer. So that's how the Lifter LMS PDFs product works for your Lifter LMS website. 
make sure you install the plugin, activate it, and enable it under integrations here, and then check the boxes that you want to allow people to use, uh, download as PDF for, certificates, grades, and orders are the current options, and then any formatting changes you'd like to make to the paper size or advanced settings if you're using a CDN. But that's a rundown on how Lifter LMS PDFs works. Feel free to let us know by emailing help at lifterlms.com if you have any questions or comment below this video. My name is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.